and this is the actual recipe itself. Mom and I are going to make a bed bug trap because she has bed, bed bugs and we're looking it up right now how to make the trap. <laughs> what? I could, come on mom. I know it's kind of personal like you don't like to say you have bed bugs but I haven't, I haven't been getting bitten here but mom's been getting some bites so we're making a we're making a trap. Alright so here's the trap how it's looking so far. Mommy's making the solution that we're gonna put in it. I had to do some convincing because my mom didn't want me to vlog that you know we're making a trap for bed bugs but Luke and I explained to her it's it's not like we have a little hygiene or anything like anybody can get bed bugs you know and I don't do vlogs to impress people it's just my day-to-day -day life you know so I can look back on my life and so people can see that hey I'm just a regular guy you know and we get bed bugs you know just like you get fleas and ticks Tina okay okay good dog so here's the bed bug trap I spray painted it green because Luke used all the black up and <laughs> doesn't look too good. Anyways, I did that so that the sun won't shine in there. Inside this container, we have water, yeast, and sugar. And what that does is it creates CO2, which bed bugs, they go after the CO2 because that's what we as humans emit out of our breath, so they want to, they use that to come and find us. So with this trap, we generate it to attract them. And in the top of the bottle here, I have a little hole that's where the gas will come out and then over that I put a bag and I'll put a rubber band around the bag what this does is it causes the gas that comes out of the top of the hole to go down around the bottle I'm going to put a little straw in here so it can actually get out instead of being trapped inside the bag and we're going to put that inside this dish, like this. And around the dish, I put a cloth. It's a, kind of like a skirt. And this will allow the bed bugs to climb up it. And when they're on the top, if this goes according to plan, they'll fall in. And what I did is I put baby powder around all the inside of the container so that they can't climb back out. It's real slippery in there. So this will go in here. The CO2 inside the bottle will come out the top, go down the sides, and it will fill up the container and it will go outside of the container, down the walls and around all around on the floor. And that's what will attract the bed bugs to climb up and fall in. And that's where they'll be trapped. Do you think it'll work, Mom? The proof will be in the pudding. We'll see if we catch any. We're gonna test it out tonight and we'll let you know if we catch something in the morning. Hi everybody, it's a new day. So we checked the bed bug trap and we didn't find any bed bugs in there, so we don't have bed bugs. Uh, so I'm not sure what it was that was biting my mom. Maybe like a spider or something, I'm not sure. So today I'm here with my dad. Hi dad. And we are out in the middle of nowhere. And we set some targets up. And I'm shooting my Glock, my nine millimeter Glock. Pretty stoked. Um, my dad got some sweet targets, a little ways off, where they flip if you shoot them. And we got this little ball that like bounces when you shoot it, it's pretty sweet. So my dad was like, Phil, Let's go shooting. I was like, yes, I'm down with you. So that's what we're doing today. It's a lot of fun. And uh, it's just nice to get out in nature and shoot some guns. Something manly about it. So this is the ball we're gonna shoot. We just shot it a few times. You can see the bullets go right through, even the nine millimeters. Oh, that one. Oh no, that's not from a bullet. That's just from the tag. Um, so it's pretty sweet. Okay, the man with the gun. All right, cool. It's later in the day. Dad and I shot some more. We didn't stay long. We stayed till about I think 11, and then we took off because it was starting to get hot. Um, 
just made it home and now it's later you're gonna play some soccer oh Sean's out that's cool on this sweet field pretty stoked nice camera is there I was thinking about it. I did it once on one of the Sunday games. I played soccer holding this camera. A while ago, right? Yeah, you were I there? Remember that. Dude. I remember that. Dude. That was like one of my first vlogs what ever. It's awesome. Yeah, good times. Cool. Look at that moon. It's so big. I can't believe it. There it is. It's so crazy. Maybe it doesn't look that big on the camera, but to me it looks really big. We just ended soccer and we're heading over to the Frozes. We're going to have a after soccer party um, right now. Oh, I was gonna show you the moon again, but it's, I thought I was gonna have a good shot, but that building's like right in the way of it. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun to play soccer. I just got back into it a couple months ago and I forgot how much fun it is. And it just, something about exercising, it just gets those endorphins going, you just feel so good. It's awesome, I'm so stoked.